question of the day. How do you make a decision to completely let go or keep trying? I would love to reconcile with my daughter, but I'm enjoying being free of the verbal abuse and the criticism. I'm afraid that the path to reconciliation would bring me stress all over again. I sent amends and was briefly reconciled, but it didn't last long. I'm struggling with which way to go. You know, I think that parents, um, I think there is a moral framework to make these decisions. I think the moral framework is that you try for a period of time. Um, in, in, in other words, what do parents owe their children and what do children owe their parents? I think children owe their parents um, a due diligence, uh, an opportunity to make amends, to hear their parent out, to forgive their parent, to, I'm not, I'm not saying adult children are obligated to forgive their parent, but they certainly are obligated to give the parent a hearing, a way to talk through the experience, to look at the parent in, terms, in a three-dimensional way about what the parent's challenges were um, and those kinds of things. What's the moral obligation of the parent? What do parents or their adult children in these situations? It's also to do due diligence, to take responsibility, to show amends, to show resilience, to show empathy, to accept the principle of separate realities that you can feel like you were a good parent and still miss something important about what your child needed. But once you've done that, you know, if your kid's still treating you miserably, you're not obligated to keep showing up to a child who keeps shaming you or rejecting you or abusing you. Some of these children are really abusive and, they're, and they treat their parents horribly and they don't stop treating them horribly, but the parents keep coming back for more. This is mostly moms. Most dads say, you know what, screw you. But most mothers that I work with are like, well, there must be something that I did that I deserve to be treated like this. You know, there must be something that I should be doing, some other stone that I should be turning over. No, there's only a few stones to turn over. Once you've turned over that stone, those stones, you get to decide whether or not the relationship with your child if, you're, if the relationship with your child is making you absolutely miserable and you've done all the other steps that I recommend, you can step away with a good conscience and focus on your own happiness, serenity, and well-being. Excellent.